Hello everyone, the FastBridge testing window opens up next week, so it's critical that you have students boot up all of the Chromebooks if you have not done so already. Not only boot them up, but please have your students check for updates and reboot to apply those updates. Upon checking, we're anticipating that you'll find devices that were disabled or locked over the summer. Notify tech support as soon as possible to have them re-enabled. Also, if you're trying to reset your FastBridge password, please contact your assistant principal first. And if you run into trouble or have other questions, you can email tech support at d47.org. It's been a while since we've done a solution team member profile. We'd like to take a moment to highlight one of our newest mobile technicians, Ryan Grafton. Ryan joined our team in September of 2019 and has a home base at Lundahl. He's a gamer, but also loves the great outdoors. He has aspirations to travel all across the U.S. He enjoys biking and fishing in his spare time. And speaking of fishing, we have seen an increase in fishing related emails. Remember that if you encounter any emails that include links such as the one shown here, you can hover over the link like so, but do not click. Simply hovering over will reveal the address down on the lower left. An easy way to tell this is a phishing email is by looking at the sender and recipient. The recipient here doesn't even match who it was actually delivered to. Here is another email that looks like it's from Best Bias Geek Squad. The red flag here is the email address. We recommend that you do not call for help like they lure you to do, but if you do, typically they will start by asking for the case number that is in the email. Then in most cases, they'll start asking for personal information like name, date of birth, or social security. This is when you should slam the brakes because most legitimate companies will not ask for this information over the phone. Remember to stay cautious, and if you see messages like this, let us know, and do not be afraid to hit that spam button. Thank you everyone, and have a great day.